Good evening, everyone. I'm Erin Clark. I'm Dan Green. We are starting tonight on Action News at 6 with efforts to contain the destructive Loma fire burning in the Santa Cruz Mountains. Crews say that they were able to strengthen the fire lines that surrounded the blaze overnight. Here are the latest numbers released by Cal Fire just a few minutes ago. More than 4,400 acres, it is 85% contained. Crews do not expect to have it fully contained now until Saturday. More than 50 homes continue to be threatened, and tonight investigators are zeroing in on a cause. Action News reporter Felix Cortez live right now at the base camp in Gilroy with our top story. Felix? Well, Dan, Aaron, for days we have known that uh, CAL FIRE has pinpointed the place where they believe this fire started. Of course, the big unknown is how it started. But at least one Bay Area station is reporting that investigators say a pot farm and drug lab is the cause. As the Loma fire dies down, the investigation into its cause heats up, with speculation swirling that the fire may have started near a property with an illegal pot grow. The cause, anyways, is still under investigation. Um, something like that can take a very long time. Uh, it's, it's a very time-consuming, sensitive process that they need to go step by step by step uh, all the way through. At least one media outlet, KGL out of San Francisco, is reporting that investigators have zeroed in on that property. And key to their investigation may be cell phone video captured by a UPS driver apparently showing the pot grow. Loud popping sounds could also be heard, fueling speculation about a hash oil or meth lab, according to KGO. Those are all rumors and they're all speculation. Um, like I said, our investigators are out there. They're, they're doing their investigation right now on the cause of the fire. Uh, anything right now other than that would be speculation or would just be false news, and we don't want to put false you know, news out there to anybody. And there's simply no evidence, zero evidence, that uh, at this time that there was any nexus between marijuana and this fire. An attorney for the landowner says the property was being rented out, but he wouldn't confirm nor deny marijuana was being grown on the property. As far as the origination of the fire, we don't know yet where the fire originated. Um, there, but on my client's property, there was no meth lab, no hash oil, uh, nothing. There was no illegal marijuana grow. There was nothing illegal uh, on, happening on the property. And again, CAL FIRE investigators very tight-lipped about their investigation and whether or not they are indeed focused on that pot farm, as KGO is suggesting. And while not uncommon, CAL FIRE today said that the Santa Clara County Sheriff's Department is assisting them with this investigation. Dan, Aaron. Thanks, Felix. Thank you, Felix. Uh, certainly weather continues to play a big role in the firefight. Yeah, Ferdinand Holum is in for Lee tonight. He's got a closer look at how that weather helped or hindered crews today. Yeah, it was actually good news. Not great news, but good news nonetheless. We did get some rain showers. Look at the time step about 930. There's Santa Cruz there. The Santa Cruz Mountains right in there is where the Loma fire is. We got a little bit of rain moving through there. It looked a little bit better on the radar. Actual rain totals anywhere from a trace to about one one hundredth of an inch, at least at our automated sites up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. So they didn't get much out of there, but a little bit of rain is better than no rain. And we've got the cloud cover. That's good. So those relative humidities will be up as well. So again, microcast, you can barely see a little bit of a blue right there. So maybe a couple sprinkles through tonight, but then by tomorrow morning, things start to clear out rather quickly there. Another couple little showers there. That's about uh, eight in the morning. Light may not even make it to the ground, may not even happen. That's on the San Mateo coast. You move that in 50 miles or 30 miles or so, a couple more drops early in the morning for uh, Santa Cruz, but that is about it, or up in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And then we clear out, and again, we'll have some winds, though, tomorrow afternoon as well. Uh, that might make things a little bit more difficult, but as far as your forecast goes, tomorrow wind out of the northwest just about 5 to 10 miles per hour, gusts upwards to maybe uh, 20 or so. And then temperatures 63 to 72. It's not a big spread in temperatures, not very hot, so that's good news. And there is some relative humidity, 50 to about 60%. The good news is things are starting to wrap up on this fire. Back to All you right, guys. very good. Thanks for it. Now, the Silberani's fire burning in Monterey County is at 94% containment, 132,000 acres since it broke out in July. They're hoping to have full containment by the 15th of this month. 